Here we have a Black & Decker chainsaw. Check this out, I'm gonna turn it on. Wow, you hear that? Super powerful. Let's take a look at this awesome piece of machinery. So here it is. Here is the Black & Decker chainsaw. So again, this one is electric. It doesn't use gas, but it does uh, require some oil. It comes with this really nice uh, blade guard. And this one is corded, okay? This one is corded. Um, you can get cordless models. Um, my advice would be um, if you get a cordless model, um, try to get the best one you can afford because, you know, the cordless models are good, but your battery will run out eventually. Whereas with something corded like this, you know, you can run this pretty much forever. The big disadvantage to something like this is that um, you do have to get a cord. Uh, here we have uh, a really heavy duty uh, 50 foot uh, extension cord. I would recommend getting at least 50 feet. I think 50 is a good number in general. Um, you can get a bigger one, but you know, once you get to 100 feet, um, that's a lot of rolling up to do. Also, if you get a cord, try to get one of those wheels um, where you can, you know, wrap the cord around the wheel just to make it easier. A, a lot of people are afraid of chainsaws because they think they're dangerous. And instead of buying, you know, regular chainsaws like this, they get the little mini chainsaws they sell. Um, I think it's better to have a real chainsaw. But then again, I, I do have a lot of experience with, with chainsaws as I used to do tree work uh, for a while there. So um, this one's pretty good. It's a pretty good chainsaw. It's very lightweight for a chainsaw. Um, I like it a lot. Um, it's got all the safety features you would expect from a real chainsaw. To turn it on, look, you can't just do that. You have to push this down and then squeeze, okay? So it's got that safety, which is really nice. Um, you know, you wanna hold it with both hands. You wanna put one hand here and, you know, one hand here and you know, read all the directions. Um, one thing you should know about chainsaws, and this is not something I think is talked about uh, too much, is you wanna make sure that you don't put the blade uh, in the sand. So when, you see how it's tipping over and hitting the carpet? You know, if this was outside in a sandy area, you get sand in your blade. It's generally not good. Uh, it wears down uh, the blade, um, you know, wears down the chain when you do that. So you wanna keep your, your saw out of the sand uh, as much as possible, so. Uh, but overall, it's a good chainsaw, good quality, what you would expect from Black & Decker. Um, again, corded versus cordless. It's the epic battle, right? So if you get a corded one, again, I recommend getting something uh, you know, as strong as possible. Get the best one you can afford. If you get uh, corded like this one, then I think uh, it's it's all good. Let's take a look at the box so we can look at some of the features of this wonderful. So here you can look at this particular model. So this one is 14 inches, which is pretty big. Honestly, this is big enough for probably, you know, your home use. It's, it's pretty large, you know, um, so that's quite nice. Uh, you know, this would be a good saw, and I, and I like how the picture shows the person cutting a really big log. You know, if you're gonna be cutting a lot, if you're gonna be doing a lot of big cuts, um, I, I think I recommend, you know, you get something like this, but, um, you know, if, if you're not going to be doing so much, you can probably get by with like a 20 volt um, cordless. And if you can afford it, if you can afford it, the 40 volt cordless, I think, is pretty good. I have a 40 volt uh, cordless Ryobi saw, uh, which is which is fantastic. Uh, you know, it's nice not having uh, the cord. It's just you're paying for that, right? You pay a lot less uh, for something like this uh, cordless does cost you know significantly more, but you don't have to worry uh, about the cord. So yeah, really, really nice. So this gives you automatic oiling for fast and smooth cuts. Yeah, I mean, that's something that all modern chainsaws do. They all have that feature, so that is good though. And here it says, bolt lock tensioning allows you to set chain tensioning for ideal cutting performance. Yeah, so that's where you tighten the chain and it actually cut, does come with a tool for that. The tool is right over here. That's something you definitely want to keep handy uh, when you buy that. You don't want to lose that. And then here it talks about um, the 14 inch bar and chain for cutting up to 12 inches in diameter. Yeah, it's a pretty big bar and chain. You know, it's, it's enough for you know most uses. And then here's where, where you tighten the chain right here. That's where you uh, tighten it and stuff. Just read the directions and it's pretty easy. Um, yeah, I like it. There's a closer look at the bar. I really like how it says Black & Decker on the bar. It's pretty cool. I mean, you get everything. It comes pretty much, it comes put together, not pretty much. It literally comes put together. It's, you know, everything you need uh, in a chainsaw, right? It's, again, this is the one by Black & Decker, and this is the 14-inch model. And, you know, you can get smaller ones, and you can get cordless. Uh, my advice would be, you know, get this. If you have a lot of cuts, you know, you'll save money going uh, corded. 
Um, but you know, if you can afford cordless, get a good cordless, okay? I would recommend getting a 40 volt if you can afford it. 20 volts okay too, but you wanna get you wanna get something really powerful, right? And um, yeah, great saw, take care.